up everyone, Alex here from AGV Auto. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been a subscriber, you know that all the videos that I've done in my garage have been nothing but installs and today is no different. Side note, if you haven't already watched those videos, check them out because they're really useful, especially if you're doing those installs yourself. But anyway, let's talk about what the hell I ordered this time. Now, obviously by the thumbnail and title, you know what's in that box and have an idea of what it's gonna look like on the car. So for those of you that have been following me on Instagram or if you've known me for a while now, you know that I've been on a hunt for an air flap for such a long time now and before this company came around there were very few options for an air flap on the market which I never really understood why but off the top of my head I can only think of two companies that manufactured them early on which were BM spec and JDM password they either went out of business or stopped manufacturing them before I could actually get my hands on one so that really sucked so when I heard this company called Carus design coming out with one and hopefully I'm pronouncing that right or else most of you guys will roast me in the comments but they came out with a whole new design and a super fun functional product so I knew that I had to have it. Now let's get it out of the box so I can show you guys what it looks like and put it on the car. Go ahead and take off the plastic here now from what i can see they've already actually put on that 3m for us so you don't have to cut anything up or anything like that we're just going to go ahead and simply tack it on so that way you guys can get a little bit of a closer look i'm just taking off the plastic here and there you are so all the 3m tape is all already lined up for us here so we just got to put that on so let's go ahead and do that now so the very first step in this process is you wanna go ahead and clean the area with just some good old rubbing alcohol. And this is again to make sure that any contaminants or any dirt and grime that's on top of the spoiler there is off before we actually go ahead and stick on that 3M tape. Now that we got the surface all cleaned up, just go ahead and wipe over it with a dry towel now to clean up all the alcohol residue. I wanna stress to you guys how important this step is. You can see some dirt and debris there. So this is all in efforts to help the bond be a little better with that aero flap and the spoiler itself. Now that we're all ready to put on the flap, you wanna go ahead and peel off the 3M tape here on the inner side, one inch back, and the ones here along the edges, the outer edge, two inches back. And this is to ensure that once we put it on, we still have a little wiggle room to go ahead and adjust it properly. Also, I noticed while peeling off these two, the middle strip is completely separate. So just make sure that you go ahead and peel this one back about two inches or so as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side too. And now the rest is just all about lining it up. And now that it's officially on, I'm just gonna give it a quick little wipe again with some more rubbing alcohol just to kind of clean off the smudges that I put on there while trying to adjust it. I can't even begin to tell you guys how sick the final product ended up looking. So like in person, this looks so much better and honestly, it looks way better than what I was expecting in my head. And on my car, that's just the right amount of flare. So as you guys can see, I don't have anything else done back here besides the carbon ASR badge, but it's still the same stock diffuser. So if you're looking into an aero flap, without a doubt, I absolutely recommend. All right, guys, and there we have it. It's crazy to see how just this little aero flap can make such a huge difference in the aggressiveness of the rear end. And that was really the main reason why I wanted to get one in the first place. What do you guys think of it? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And as it's pouring on the car, let me know if this is something you guys would consider getting for your car. Also, I will be putting a link down in the description below just in case you guys do want to pull the trigger on this. And if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching and be sure to smash that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.